Today we're going to have a chat about how you might approach the art and design paper, specifically the first question, the scene question that we have been preparing for uh, for the year based on the two artists. We're going to have a look at it now. When you open your paper, you'll see something like this. The left hand page is the scene question and has nothing to do with the image on the right hand page. That's for later. The left hand page is the scene question and one that you will have prepared for. You must attempt this first question. We've prepared well for it and it's possible to get high marks. The question asks you to identify two artworks by different artists that you have studied. These should be based on similar artists. We have studied The Girl in the Green Dress by Tamara de Lempica. And Propped by Jenny Saville. So before you say anything else, you will write the two works that I have studied are The Girl in the Green Dress by Tamara de Lempica and Propped by Jenny Saville. Both works are figure paintings. It's then asking you to look at three different points in this case, colour, media handling and techniques, and mood and atmosphere. Let's have a look at that. In responding to this part of the question, we need to look at the three areas that have been highlighted in the question. In this case, it is colour, media handling and mood and atmosphere. You must mention both artists in your response to this, but you don't need to literally compare and contrast. You just need to make sure that you have a point for each artist in each section. For example, you might decide that you know enough about colour to make a point on Lempica, a point on Saville, and then come back and make a further point on De Lempica. Media handling, you might want to start with a point about Saville and then go on to a point on De Lempica. You might feel that you have more knowledge about mood and atmosphere on the artists, so decide that your final three points will come from this section. You have a choice, but you're best to cover all three sections and try to mention both artists in each section. You need to remember your P structure here, so your point, evidence and explanation. So in this case, I've worked with the colour um, for De Lempica, the use of the white hat and gloves in Girl with the Green Dress frames the otherwise bright and eye-catching figure, and it emphasises her purity and superiority. I've talked about Saville and the subtle tints and hues that she uses. I then thought there was enough really to talk a little bit more about Saville and gain an extra point here. Media handling, I've talked about De Lempica and how slowly she's worked and the type of brush that she's used, adding to the sense of perfection of the model. So there's a point. I've talked about how Saville, Saville has daubed the paint on thickly and has overlapped it. We can see evident brush marks. This is a, allows us to see the flesh as flawed and dynamic. Another point on De Lempica. And then for mood and atmosphere, I have one point on Saville and one point on De Lampica, giving me eight marks. The examiners will always ask about three areas, but the areas they ask about will vary and could include the following. Any of the visual elements, line, tone, shape, texture, pattern, form or colour. Scale, how big the work is. Content what is in it or what it's about. 
composition, how it's arranged, how the artist has led your eye around the piece. Mood and atmosphere, how it makes you feel. Or viewpoint, where the viewer is in relation to the painting. On the next part of section A, you will be asked about your personal opinion. Which of the two artworks do you find most appealing? Give two justified reasons. You might be asked which is more effective or which is more appealing or which has more impact. But fundamentally, they are asking for your opinion. And as long as you justify it, you can choose either artwork and you can focus in on any element. For example, I find the Jenny Savile more appealing as she represents every blemish and detail in the figure, making it more immediate. I also like the way she has applied the paint so that you can see the process. I find the Dilempica more appealing as the figure is dealt with in a carefully blended way, making her seem idealistic and nice to look at. I like how the composition is framed with the white hat and gloves. Try to get two points here and you can practice this because it won't change very much from paper to paper. Section B asks you about the social and cultural influences on the artist. Select one artist from part A. Identify two influences on this artist and describe how these influences can be seen in any of their work. Now, please remember at this point that we have done most of our work on Delempica. So stick to Delempica and the social and cultural influences on her work. The question is always going to be the same and you can learn it in advance. We've got quite a lot of work on files about this in the files in Teams, but you can learn this section here. This is put together for you and this will get you a maximum of five marks. You need to talk about two cultural influences and where you see them in the work. So you'll notice here that we have mentioned a couple of works that we haven't really studied that closely. But Marquis Sommi is one. And we also have self-portrait with Bugatti. These can be seen in the files just so that you can familiarise yourself with them. You don't have to mention different artworks, but it will just make sure you've completely secured those marks. So I hope this has helped you watch over a couple of times and that should help you know how to structure your answer in order to get the most marks possible.